Okay, hello everyone. I'm leaving my very small mountainous school, Usagi Shogako, which is up those stairs. Oh, getting some interference from the sun. I just thought I'd give you a little glimpse of mountain driving here. And we're gonna about to go through this tiny village that this school services. You'll see it's mostly one lane all through here. Um, so today I had a lesson. The school has only 12 children. Um, two of them are actually kindergartners, Yo Chen students, so I actually only really teach 10 of the children. <coughs> And it's in this tiny town called Usagi Mura. Mura means village um, in Japanese. And as we can see, it's a small fishing village right here on the Sea of Japan. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to drive and do this at the same time. Um, so it's really lovely. And I'll show you the tiny town as we go through here. Maybe I'll put this together with some music. I wish I had that speed up function many of you guys have where you can kind of take your footage and speed it up. Those are like radishes, big daikon that they're doing there. Fishing boats. And like I said, that's the Sea of Japan. And this is the tiny town that I guess most of the people here are fishermen. Or have just lived here forever. Um, but there's still, of course, cigarette vending machines. Coca-Cola. Little shrine there. The bus actually does come, that's a bus stop sign out here. It runs about three or four times a day only. Um, there's a really windy road um, to get back and it actually dumps you out right at Izumo Taisha Shrine. Um, I'm kind of on the other side of the mountain from Izumo Taisha. Sorry about that sun glare. Um, but I'm gonna take kind of a more It's not safer, I don't know what the word I'm looking for. It's The road's a little bit wider, and um, it's just uh, a little bit easier to travel. So it's right here, actually. There's a fork. If you go straight, it is Motaisha, but I'm gonna go kind of this way, and the road is a little bit easier. <clears throat> and that was it. That, that was the whole town of Usagi. I have no idea how many people live in the town, it's tiny. Um, and like I said, the whole Shogako only has 10 kids. So those kids, um, obviously like there's one sixth grader, there's two fifth graders. So the one sixth grader is now about to graduate and she will go on to a school that has, you know, 450 kids, which is my junior high school, right? And she'll bus down there every day. Um, or, I don't know, maybe her parents will drive her every day. I don't know what the situation is, but anyway. Uh, so it's a big adjustment, but what they do for these kids up here at this small school is once a week, I believe it's every Monday, they take them down to the larger elementary school that's right across from my junior high that has about 250, 300 kids, and they allow them to have a class um, a few classes with those Shogakusei. So they can play PE and not just be the only girl or you know they can you know ha make friends basically and, and meet some other kids their own age. Um, so when they do go to junior high um, it's not like they're brand new and nobody knows them. And that's great. I'm really happy that they do that. And uh, the kids from that school that have graduated and gone on to my junior high 
um, have just been some of my favorite students. They're just awesome kids. And today we did this whole project about Christmas. We sang songs. We did a craft project where we made snowflakes kind of cutting out of paper. And because there's only 10 kids, you know, and three teachers and me, um, I can do stuff like that. And it's really a, a, one of my favorite schools to visit. I only get to visit it, you know, once, well, was that my first time this term? No. Um, I usually go three times a year, once in each kind of term. So I don't go often, but uh, I enjoy my time. All right, so um, just a little bit more mountain driving, as you can see. Just trees everywhere, all a lot of autumn colors. And the sun coming in and out as we go around certain bends and crooks. Um, the only time that this gets hazardous is, say, in February. I often visit this school um, during a holiday called Setsubun. They often invite me to come. And um, in February, there can often be snow on these roads. And it can get a little hazardous just because you're going up and down elevation. Um, you know, if you have tires that are good or chains, it's really no problem. But I I'm not certainly used to driving in snow. I only started doing that when I came to Japan because, you know, I lived in San Diego and in Dallas. So I never had snow. Um, but I've gotten used to driving in snow now and it's not so bad. Um, but, you know, if it's ever really bad, I can always take the bus. <laughs> Even though that sounds kind of weird, um, the bus drivers certainly know how to drive in it. And, you know, they're big vehicles along these windy roads. So it's just gorgeous up here. Um, you know, again, some of you on your jet placement asked to be placed, you know, near a big city. And there are certainly advantages to that. But there are certainly advantages to my rural life. Um, you know, I have schools with, you know, 450 kids, I have schools with 10 kids. You know, it's such just a different adventure. Um, and I just, again, oh, we're going to go in a tunnel. Yay, tunnel! Um, I just, I'll, I'll never live anywhere just as naturally beautiful um, as Shimane again in my life, I very much doubt. Um, it's just gorgeous. All right, well that's seven minutes, so uh, more driving. Um, I hope you're having a good December and uh, your day is going well. I'm headed back to my junior high now. Um, I didn't eat lunch with the kids at Usagi today because I have to get back to my junior high um, and, uh, and finish out my day there. So, um, whoa, nice scenery. Oh, sorry. Okay. That's about it. Let's see if there's anything else. Oh wait, around this bend there might be something worth filming. Let's see. Oh yeah, let's see if I slow down. You can kind of see. So that's the sea way out there. Uh, I guess you kind of can't see it. Uh, maybe around this bit. Oh, I'm reaching the end of my time here. Sorry for being erratic. Ah, uh, there we go. Obviously, there's no other cars on this road, so it doesn't matter that I slow down. And so there it is. Ugh. Okay. Thanks for watching again. Bye.